Recently, there's been a spate of videos about how parents who call themselves unschoolers are ruining their kids' lives and making them grow up without an education. In many cases, they're right. The parents making the videos they're reacting to are doing nothing for their kids. I like these reaction YouTubers for the most part, but they don't tend to dive that deep. And because they don't know much about unschooling, they want to throw the baby out with the bathwater. Most of them just got out of school a few years ago, where they learned that school is the only correct way to educate a child. Unlike them, I've been a teacher for the past 20 years, and I can safely say school is the worst place for your kids to learn anything worth learning. Let's talk about why and what the alternative is. I'm Chris, and welcome back to the channel that answers the question, but who reacts to the reactors? This video was sponsored by Chris and Chris Trial Lawyers. If you need a lawyer fast and don't mind a guy who doesn't have a law degree, call Chris and Chris Trial Lawyers and we'll try. I've actually made a whole series on why I'm opposed to school and what we can do about it. But to sum up the first video in the series, the purpose of school is discipline training and indoctrination. Yes, kids learn some useful things there if they don't get ignored for 12 years. But what price do they pay when school crushes their independent spirit, curiosity, and critical mind? Consider what school is. School is compelling someone to stay in one place and listen and be able to regurgitate information a few weeks later. It's forcing children to sit still and remain silent and not talk to their peers against every fiber of their being. That's not the best way to teach kids. It's how you break them, just like you break horses. School pressures them to succeed, to reach some arbitrary standard, as they're measured against their peers whom they're taught to compete with. Laboring under the threat of shame and punishment can be traumatic for a child. Yes, Hana, school equals bad. It's certainly not the fascinating, eye-opening experience they could be having as they discover the world, an experience we were denied, so we don't know its value. If you really care about learning, let students learn in comfort in a variety of settings, with others of their own choosing or on their own, at their own pace. Very few schools offer this model. Moreover, by pressuring children to secure all the high marks and gold stars and happy faces in order to be told they're worth something, we ensure they'll depend on the approval of authority for their whole lives. That's why we're so sure as adults, school is the only way to educate someone. That's the one way we were taught to think. We learn at a young age that both knowledge and the moral legitimacy to make the rules is the possession of authority. And that far from being a lifelong pursuit, learning takes place in formal settings and mostly just in childhood. Without an authority grading us on everything, how could we possibly learn? Lastly, I mean for a brief understanding of what school is, I could go on for hours. What students learn in school is set by the state or some other self-interested authority, which leads most people to support or ignore everything that authority does for the rest of their lives. You spend enough time in school and even university and you can find an excuse for any amount of oppression and injustice. Standard curriculums and teaching methods are not conducive to helping someone become a free-thinking, fully realized person. Their purpose is to create vessels into which authority can pour itself. Why can't they learn without school? As a matter of fact, they can. Kids, and to be clear, everyone, learns best by doing. We decide what we want to learn, learn the minimum amount of theory, then go out and apply it. Then come back, learn what we need to learn to proceed with our goals, then apply that. We don't need a classroom for that, just necessity or curiosity. If you want to make a box for yourself, you can go on YouTube, watch someone tell you how to do it, pause it when you reach the stage that you're at, and try to replicate what you see. Then you hit play and learn the next step and so on until you've made your box. Learning by doing is a lot harder when you're not allowed to move. I know you're concerned kids won't learn anything useful or the things they need for the modern world, like the three R's, but those are goals too. Why not set those goals? We should learn to read, but in school we learn to read so we can believe what the people who set the curriculum want us to believe. We learn arithmetic because we have to, because we live under the rule of an economy based on numbers. The world is full of numbers. Everywhere you look, on buses, speed limit signs, 
inside shoes, even in the phone book. I never realized. The good news is that gives us unlimited opportunities to learn math. Some students don't particularly like one subject and want to focus on another, and that's usually good. That's passion. They'll learn all about it if you let them. But you're worried they won't learn enough of some subject, which could be a problem, or that they'll be left behind their peers, which doesn't matter as much, but it's embarrassing for the parent. But really, if you give kids the resources, they can learn the basics of pretty much anything, and probably a lot faster and more thoroughly than their classroom-educated peers. What, kids don't want to learn reading, writing, math, science, and so on? Only if we stifle them. We stifle kids with all kinds of nonsense we've taken for granted since it was drilled into us. Just assuming what gets taught in school is what matters also implies everything kids could be learning but aren't must not be very useful. Why would they need to go outside and learn about nature, for example? It doesn't matter if you want your kids to learn things that aren't in the curriculum because they're probably so burnt out from all the work they have to do at school they don't have the time or energy to learn anything else. We destroy their motivation by saying they have to learn something and they have to learn it the way we say or else face various punishments and they have to learn it for the next 12 years. You know how many people hate a subject because they learned it in school only to discover they actually enjoy it when they learn it later in life? Then we tell kids they have to keep up with the rest of the class just because they're the same age. When they could be on the same page if they had been grouped with others according to skill level, which makes infinitely more sense. But no, school says separate kids by age, so that must be the right way to teach them. So I have a lot of respect for the legitimate unschooling movement, and if you watch, read, or listen to the videos, books, and podcasts in the description of this video, you will too. You might not end up wanting to abolish the school like I do, but don't try to ban any alternative to it just because some loud people are doing it wrong. Unschooling is also called self-directed education because students learn how to learn independently so they don't have to keep looking back at an authority figure to check if it's okay. It's hard to define exactly what unschooling is, but if you're letting kids set their own learning goals and figure out how to reach them, giving them resources to research what they want to learn, including people in the community who can teach them, you're probably doing right by them. There's no reason it all has to be done by the parent or with a single child, when the child probably has friends or acquaintances they could learn with, and you probably know adults who would be happy to show them how to do something for a day or two. Should that be illegal? Should kids be forced to spend all their time working for school just in case their parents have no idea what they're talking about because school said government needs to force us to go to school for our own good? Naturally, these YouTubers don't know what unschooling is, so they don't know where to look for resources. Again, check the description of this video. The movement they're criticizing I would call parent schooling. If you've heard of Project 2025, you might be aware Republicans are talking about abolishing the Department of Education. Like some of their ideas, it sounds like it might have some promise on the surface until you realize what it really means. They're not saying get rid of compulsory schooling and empower students to take their learning in their own hands. They're saying conservatives should decide everything children learn and how they're disciplined. Sounds like a nightmare. And it's not unschooling. They don't want self-directed learning. Like all their political vocabulary, right-wingers learn about these things from other right-wingers and therefore inevitably get a warped impression of it. Dogmatically indoctrinating children into values like country and religion and guns is not unschooling. It's schooling. Keeping kids in one place until they accept your point of view is the purpose of schooling. These people are simply recreating the school in their living rooms. Like with everything, right-wingers lack a rigorous critique of the school. They don't care about the quality of the education or the truth of the facts. They don't want children to be free, critical, open-minded people. They want everyone to conform to all the same values they've never questioned. 
Their criticism of the school is it doesn't indoctrinate children into the particular values the right wants to impose on the world, like bullying trans people and using surveillance technology to track women's menstrual cycles. You know, biblical values. They pull their kids out of school because schools teach that some people are gay and some are trans, because then how would I teach my kids to persecute the same people as I do? My kids should learn to bully and discriminate and torment people from being different from me, not learn to accept people and let them be free. But that's what happens when you ask the wrong questions. The wrong questions are the ones that recreate the school. How do you force kids to sit still and learn? How do you know if they're keeping up with their peers? How do you make them productive and motivated? How do I make them think like me? Unschooling's not just an education for kids, but for parents, as they learn to let go of the leash and watch how far their kids go. If you're subscribed to this channel, it's probably because you care about freedom, because that's what I talk about. We can talk all day about eliminating institutions of rule like the state and the corporation, and ideologies like white supremacy and patriarchy, and we should. But if we ignore the oppression we put children through, they'll grow up to replicate all our most harmful attitudes and behavior. Liberate your kids from school. Free their minds now so they don't have to unlearn everything 20 years down the line. So learning becomes a lifelong passion instead of a chore. Finally, and I can't stress this enough, stop getting your information from TikTok.